Hello friends, welcome. Guess what? You don't have to do the Costco haul with us today. We've already done it. Pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty basic. Pretty straightforward, but today we thought we would talk to you about Hawaii, big surprise. But mainly, kind of the ways that we make Hawaii happen, and we've added one new way, I guess two new ways technically this year, that we wanted to kind of chat with you. Oh, you'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> you don't even know half the time what we're talking about. <laughs> But we wanted to kind of show you our tips and tricks to how we actually go as often as we do and to kind of explain the, the fact that this is our third trip in just over a year. That's not normal. So we wanted to talk about all that kind of stuff. We're going to go get a beverage. I need my beverage. He's probably getting a smoothie of some sort. I don't know. Something like that, and then we will sit down and chat with you guys and kind of give us give you our tips. And then we also have just things we want to chat about in terms of our trip. We want to keep it real, we don't want you guys thinking that we're spending like 15 to 20 thousand dollars each time we go. Because we, it's not the case, that. it's not what we do. Uh, I will say you are going to be shocked, absolutely shocked, how much we spent. And I will admit how much we spent, how little, how little, how little, how little we spent on this next trip that we're going on in a few weeks. This has got to be one of the records. Our, it is our record. Absolutely our record. And my spending amount, my little spending account, um, is... Discretionary cash, you mean? Yes. It's the biggest I've ever had. And I don't, I don't know. We'll talk about why I don't count that in the cost of going to Hawaii. Here, we'll do that all in just a second. like making the most disgusting don't <laughs> sounds with his root beer he's, <laughs> he's got the hiccups because oh. he's eating too fast and uh swishing his mouth with root beer <sighs> oh. hey maybe we should <laughs> postpone the video just a little bit here. yeah hang on that could be better light or well, i think it was better with light okay also these little black forest easter fruit snacks they're good so good there's new flavors watermelon pineapple raspberry strawberry and mango we got them for the kids for our trip to put in their like travel bag. They're, they're really good. good. They're good. And I normally don't care for fruit snacks, but they're really good. All right, we're gonna jump right into it so this isn't super long. We're gonna go through a few things here. We're gonna go through what we used to do and what we still do, like some of the old methods that are still working great. And then we've added some new methods of making it work. And then we'll talk about our spending money, our free money that like we get taken. How we get free money. Well, free money, but also like our spending, because I don't count that into so how, how much it costs. How we yeah, budget. How we budget. Yeah, but... And then we're gonna end with a fun little gift that we got from one of you guys from Michelle we will cut to some footage of when Ashley got to open that gift and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit as well so that'll be at the end so stick around for that yeah a little surprise so in terms of our we've never really had a budget necessarily for going to Hawaii we just try and make it as cost-effective as we possibly can because we don't have ten thousand dollars to be able to go normally airfare can cost you two three sometimes even four thousand dollars just for the airfare. With when you have six people. We may have, yeah, there's six, six of us. Six of us. Four so kids and two adults. It so can get, it can, expensive it can get expensive. And then booking a hotel, a resort, an Airbnb, a we Verbo. We used to have to get a two bedroom with a pull out bed. So again, that makes it a little bit more of a couple hundred dollars a night. A it adds up. So how do we afford going to Hawaii? Like how, what are the tips that we have accrued over time to make it work? The first thing that we have done from the very beginning was using our American Express points. He earned them on his American Express That's through correct. our business and we do accrue points quickly because he puts everything on that. If, if you want to save points for travel and you can watch some other YouTubes to get all about which credit cards are the best right but you can find credit cards that are geared toward travel that's what the American Express we have does so that's how we started all this yeah Dana just started to realize like wait a sec um, we can use these points to like travel and get more money for tickets than we can to buy like headphones or something yeah I, I bought him headphones for Christmas ones one Christmas obviously and I was like, that's like $400 that I could have bought a plane ticket with. Yeah. This is silly, the, the you know? Point, the points go further in travel with the, with those They do. Cars. Dollar for dollar, they go further in travel than if I was to actually buy something, a physical yep. thing. Yep. So that's what we started a long time ago, and that's what we have used and accrued or whatnot. The advantage that we had this year and why we sp saved so much money for this trip this year is because the last trip that we used and cashed out all of our points for was clear back in 2000. 
2019 when we booked our trip that was supposed to happen in 2020. So we had the first part of cashed out all our points, clear at the end of 2019. And so we have now accrued points for two solid years 20, on that card. 2020, 20, 2021. 20, yeah. And then we booked it the first part the of 2020. The other little disclaimer is these can be long-term goals because obviously we have right. the business and I put the business stuff on it. I mean, if you, I guess if you can already put hundreds of thousands of dollars on your credit card, then maybe, maybe you, you can, can afford to go. <laughs> <laughs> and so we understand like you maybe you can't do it as quickly because you don't right. have a business. If you do have a business or anything like that, you should look at these type of things. But don't worry about that. Just right. get a card and you'll earn points. Maybe it takes four years to earn points. But hey, it's still giving you something back that you can then turn into a trip of a lifetime or something. Yeah. So and that's the thing is that like we these points have accrued for a long time. And so yes, we went on a trip last year, but it was a makeup of 2020 that it was paid for in 2019. Yeah. And so we didn't technically pay for our trip last year last year we paid for it a long time ago and so the one that's how we kind of were able to go last year but also that the points that he was able to accrue over a two-year time span and given part of our that was we were shut down with the pandemic our store was closed we weren't actually earning or spending any money but those points 100 percent paid for our resort we're staying at the hilton 100 percent of it except for the taxes points cannot pay for taxes yeah. and it was like 400 dollars. by the time we ended up booking our flights which we'll talk about here in a second we ended up not being able to fly in on the same day that we had have our hotel for so we ended up having to add a day to our hotel so then we paid for that extra night out of pocket so all in for our entire resort we're paying eight hundred dollars for a 10-day stay in Hawaii like we can't even get two nights in Wenatchee for eight hundred dollars I'm not even joking you I'm not even kidding yes. I tried to do that over Christmas break and it was eight hundred dollars for one night for a house in Wenatchee during well, the holidays yeah, so that's how we have used American Express points to get our resort. We could have done that for airfare, but the reason why we didn't do that for airfare is a new thing. Is a new thing. So we have switched before. We've done, sometimes we do the points and buy the airfare because it's easier for us to find a resort on Verbo where we can't use points. So now we've added a new feature with another set of credit cards. So it actually happened when we were on the flight from our last trip. Right. And we've flying Hawaiian and they are offering like their, their bonus. The credit card you sign up now you get an additional ten thousand no uh, seventy thousand so anyways now it doesn't mean you have to do hawaiian because maybe where you fly out of doesn't take hawaiian or it's, it, you know do some research depending on where you're flying from maybe you want to do another airline because those points will get you tickets to get you there better better right. um for us seattle is a hub for hawaiian airlines and so it works for us to be able to use that so what we did is we when i realized that they had a sign-on bonus that was eighty thousand miles for each card both of us signed up for the Hawaiian Airlines separate. credit card. Just both, yeah, up separate. So, totally separate. Two different socials, two different credits. Both of us signed up for it. Both of us were approved, and we both got eighty thousand points. That's more than it's like two one tickets. And a half tickets? No, it was two full tickets plus a little extra that we were then able to apply toward the fourth and fifth ticket. Now, if that makes they, sense. Wouldn't they give you additional points if you could put a certain amount on it, or was that part of the eighty thousand? Well, that was part of the eighty thousand. The deal was that you had to spend six thousand dollars in the first six months in order to get the 80,000 mile bonus again, again for our business like, that wasn't hard for us yeah, to do he hard. made he paid one bill and it was done so you have to kind of watch these kinds of things and make sure you're not going to kind of get into a rut with extra credit or extra debt that you actually couldn't afford to begin with yeah, yeah it's not worth it don't go buy other crap right uh, in order to get the point just just plan it out ahead of time uh get the card you'll put your growth just decide okay we're gonna put all of our expenditures on this card uh, right. that we would normally just pay cash for or that we would mix you, up on different cards or you have a so car repair that you know you're gonna have something like that I've even had well we'll talk about that in a second so that's how we were able to get our airfare I think we only paid we didn't even pay for two full plane tickets this time because I ended up having to buy miles in order to cover the difference for the other two tickets that we ended up having to buy so we only paid by miles is in what does that mean well because I was purchasing the plane tickets initially with all the miles that we had accrued she, she, the lady on we had to use the Hawaiian Airlines um, customer service us to help us go through this whole process just because that they were having a problem with their system as well but it meant that it was easier for me to just buy the miles at the end of okay you you need two more plane tickets or whatever and she's like for three hundred dollars you can buy the miles that will give you the amount that you need by a plane ticket which was the equivalent of what the plane ticket would have cost that's the only difference so so in total between the american express points paying for our resort well I'll, and then 800 bucks and then all the miles we got from getting the two separate credit cards uh my that, airfare only cost us 
us about nine hundred dollars eight hundred to nine hundred dollars for all six plane tickets so all in all we only paid eighteen hundred dollars for everything take all of us to hawaii for eight days ten days ten days like all in said and done then spending money this is how i kind of work my mind and maybe i'm a little bit different in this mindset but we sorry text message from my sister in mexico <laughs> <laughs> kind of hoping for a video at some point. Okay, so then the third area that I save money and use money is my Costco credit card and oh, my yeah. Costco membership. I just use our Costco credit cards for daily purchases like McDonald's, groceries, Target, Target gas, all that kind of stuff. But we have the credit card and we have the membership rebates that we have for both of those. I don't spend that rebate any other time of year but on Hawaii. So I, I treat it as a mini savings account and then it's only used and cashed out when we go to Hawaii. Like that, like, and I'm not tempted to just, oh, I've got this, you know, a couple hundred dollars. I can just go to Costco go and buy whatever I want. I purposely save that money for these trips because we've kind of had a bigger expenditure kind of a year. We have a thousand dollars in Costco rebate. That's why I'm saying what we've said before, it was free money. Like we were just buying our regular we're groceries. Buying, you guys we were have buying seen our it regular you watched our videos. Yeah. There's another trick with the Costco card is they'll give you the, you know, the, the main member, a secondary member, and I think they give you a third member. Yes. And all those cards you don't pay for. So what you can do, and this is what we do, is like my father, his dad is on our is part. actually the other third member, and so everything he buys goes toward our points. Maybe you don't tell that person. And uh, <laughs> I mean, he's got to pay his own bills. We don't pay any of that stuff. Yeah. So there's no commingling of that. But those points are technically on our account. Yeah. So it's a, if if you can get that extra person for free, you don't want to pay additional membership fees or anything. Yeah. Then might as well do it. Yeah. Uh, you know, mother, father. I don't know. Also, I've had a friend who knows that I work these points and I work this kind of system and it's all legal. We've even had people tell us that all of this isn't legal. It is. I've had a friend call me up. I'm at the mechanic and my car needs to get fixed. It's going to be $1,900. And I know you love to earn points. And I don't have any credit cards. I don't have any Costco card. Would you like to come down here and pay for my car to get fixed on your points? And I will Venmo you that same amount the second we find out what this total is. And I drove right down. Five minutes later, I swiped my card for $1,900 to fix her car. And then she Venmoed me. She was kind of supporting our... She was. She was she's like excited about our you yeah. know, what we do. So and so she, she paid me right away, and it's no, so I went online right away, and I went ahead and paid that portion of the credit card bill, and all said and done, I earned points on nineteen hundred dollars. So all said and done, I had a thousand dollars in Costco rebate just for this past year that I can use for spending. It's free money to me, so I don't count it towards my budget. It's just we're gonna use it to buy food and smoothies and and shave ice and t-shirts, sweatshirts, and whatever stuff, we want to yeah. do. So then. And the other portion of my spending money, and again, I don't count it towards my budget. I don't, I don't count that I have to save up a certain amount. I just save up whatever I can, and then it's free for me to spend it. And the reason why I feel like it's free for me to spend it is because it comes from you guys. It quite literally comes from you guys. The earnings that I get, get off of YouTube, I have always said that it will pay for the equipment that I need, the cameras and batteries and all Audio. that kind of stuff. Everything else that I earn on this channel from you guys watching, goes into vacation for us. That's just something that I've always wanted to do and it's always been hard to do on our regular budget. And so I've dedicated this channel to being the source of funds for us to do these vacations. So you guys are quite literally funding our vacations to Hawaii. Which we appreciate. <laughs> Everyone give a round of applause for the viewers on Dana Creates. Yes. Literally every time I get paid, every single month, I go and, and it's, I... It's not a lot of money. It's not. It's like, I mean, we're not a big channel or anything. No. But, it, you know, every penny, every little thing adds up and we greatly appreciate it. We appreciate yeah. you watching, comments, all that stuff. I mean, the community that's developed in our tiny little channel has just been awesome. Yeah. yeah all these people. I don't want to start naming because I know I'll forget people. Yeah. There's so many cool people, so... Well, and a lot of you have come to the channel because of our Hawaii videos. So I would like you guys to leave a comment down below. One, if you came to our channel and found it from doing research for your trips to Hawaii, or after the fact that you have like, you know, the Hawaii letdown and you're like, oh, I wish I was there and you went to look for Hawaii videos because you miss it so much. Let us know down below if you found our channel from a Hawaii type of content search. Uh, I would love well, to know. I would like to know how you found the channel at all. Just yeah, like, but then too, I would like to know how you found our channel and how long you've been watching because that is always like really it's interesting to find out. Yeah, yeah, it's nice to know. So you guys have made it possible for us to do these trips. 
And because you've made it possible, we want to make sure you know what we're doing with that money. We want to want. We, I always want to show you what we get with our souvenirs. That's why I do that video. It's you guys that are funding that. You're giving us that opportunity to be able to go and shop and play and eat and have fun with our girls. And make they memories, know it too. Make and make so memories. So last of all, someone sent us a gift and it was totally out of the blue and I, I got it and I can cut to the footage of Ashley opening it here. Quite literally, this is giving us a gift of something that we can go and spend in Hawaii just from her. And Michelle, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. I, anyway, cut to Ashley opening that. It means a lot to me. No, it does. It's really cool. These people are genuine. I mean, it's awesome. These people that we connect with, it's... I don't know. It's really cool. See yeah. their stories. Uh, maybe we ch or found find other ways to chat with them, meet them, and it's it's just really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. So go check Ashley out, and then come right on back. All right. So Ashley, what do you have here? Card from who? From uh, Michelle. What? Michelle. A little shout out to Michelle. Ooh. She sent us a little card, huh? Okay. Yeah. You wanna open it up? Okay. This is the card for. No, nope, that's <laughs> that was inside the card. Let's pull it out. What does it look like, Ashley? It sounds like a little vine. Look how cute this is. Aloha. I think I'm going to keep that card in my office. Okay. Super cute, huh? So what does it say inside? I've already looked at it. So yeah. she's trying to open it carefully like I It says Dana, Jason, and girls. So here is a little something extra for spending money on your vacation. Have a super fabulous time in Hawaii. Can't wait to see all your fun family videos. Aloha, Michelle. Oh, that's so sweet of her. And then she also sent this cute little notepad, right? Little sticky notepad, a little Hawaiian vibe. That will get used, won't it? Yeah. Yep. And then there's another little letter that she sent to me. She talked about um, places that she went to when they stayed in Hawaii. They just got back from um, Maui. And so she talked about the things that she did there. And then also just um, thanking us for writing our videos. Mm -hmm. And she sent some money. You want to read that? what that says? Here's each from some... There's money. Here's money each for some fun in the sun. Yeah. So she sent some money for each one of you. Yeah. For you to spend it however you want in Hawaii. Doesn't that sound fun? Can you thank Michelle for that? Thank you. Yeah. So, I mean, look how cute Ashley is. She's very excited. We've told the kids you can either spend your individual money. We're not going to say what dollar amount it is, but you can spend your individual amount yourself. And we would love to show on the channel that day if they happen to buy something. We would like to show you guys. Like, this is what you have done for us. And we want to be able to give back and show you what that is. But we've also told them if there's something fun that we want to do as a family, we will use that money to go do something as a family. We're just giving that option to our kids. Some of their funds have depleted over time so they don't have some spending money so that some of them are like I kind of want to save it. They haven't been able to do as much during, during the pandemic. last little stuff. So anyway and, and all said and done that's how we go and that's how we're going for a third time in about what 14-15 months. I know you're starting to make this a little red. I know <laughs> it's like you're gonna want to go every six months or so and it really only is because the pandemic messed up one trip from one year and it pushed it so to it another year. Things, it yeah. compounded everything and then we did go again for our anniversary within a same calendar year. This is how we do it yeah. Um, you're a part of that and we greatly appreciate it. And we Hopefully know you this is, helps you out. Beneficial. Again, it, it have questions below. We can, we'll give you as many little tips and stuff. Yeah. I watch the channels more about the credit card stuff. So maybe I can give you some references on what to look for. Plan it out. Kind of think about it. Figure out what's best for you. Don't go into extra debt. Just try to get points. It's not worth it. Just no. buy a ticket. But if you plan it out, like the Costco rebate, uh, there's other rebates things. That money is... That could buy a plane ticket. Yeah. And it's money. You're just buying stuff you're going to buy anyways. Why not buy it in a manner that gets you money back so yeah. that'll help you save and again if it takes you four years to plan for a trip and save for a trip great yeah. however long it takes but at least that's a trip you get paid for and stuff so hopefully well, this it, is took helpful. Us, it took us 10 years to be able to even start traveling with our kids we had three kids before we even were able to go and travel with you them were pregnant with i was i was pregnant with ashley so it took a long time Did we yeah. call the first time at yeah she was little yeah Chelsea oh, was two and a half she put that cute little picture of uh, um i know you should I know. I'll if I I, I have it. Gotta I it. gotta find it.
We hope you guys enjoy our Hawaii videos coming up. If there's something that we have missed from the past or a, a tip that we you need questions answered for and we haven't answered it in past videos, leave that question down below because maybe it's big enough that we can do another video about it or we save it and talk about it when we're in Hawaii. We have not gone to the big island before. This is our last island that we have not visited. So we're very excited to go and explore and share that with you guys and kind of bring some unique things that we're going to do that we oh, haven't yeah, seen videos. Stuff, on some fun, fun, really fun things that when I did a search for this one thing, yeah, I only yeah, literally enough. found we'll I only found videos. four videos for it. Literally total out of everything on YouTube, there's only four videos out there. And but we'll I have think better we're, drone footage. I think we're gonna have a great time. So it'll be fun. Watch you guys come. So, along. Stick around, let us know all the answers to questions that we've given you here down below, and we'll see you guys soon in the Hawaii videos. But stay tuned for regular daily stuff as we get ready to go. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care, you guys, and see you in Hawaii. <laughs>